Oh man. Wow. All right guys, today is the day I am going into this sub. I can't wait to share with you the experience. If you are hype, hit that like button. If you are new, check out my other videos. I like to do these adventurous travels. Uh, let's get a couple things out the way. Yes, uh, I am handsome. Yes, uh, I might not be the typical guy you would think that would wanna do these things, but yeah, I love to travel and I love to do adventurous things. And I want to share that with you and encourage you to do the same. And so we're going to see what it's like to be on a submersible. All right, he's uh, been doing a couple safety checks already. Um, he had a scale out for me to check the weight. Anyways, let's go. Right, so let me give you uh, some stats for those who might be your first video here. My name is Ace. I'm a traveler YouTuber. And yeah, um, I like to do dope stuff and uh, investigate stuff if I can so watch a lot of my videos But uh, for this video, we are in the island of Rotong. It is an island owned by uh, Honduras they have a submersible that goes into deep sea water not too many submersibles go this deep This is one of the, uh, the submersibles that actually go deeper than most this one's not certified the reason why it's not certified we talked about it in the other video but uh, keep it real quick with you it's very expensive to get certified if you're a small business normally people who get certified are billionaires because they can pay um, for it but if you want to see why I'll leave a link in the description and it'll go straight to the information you need to look for but uh, I want to showcase that you can have a good time on uh, a submersible that's not certified as long as you're with people who have taken the proper procedures to get everything done right. Um, who has gone on this um, submarine? Plenty of scientists, people from National Geographic have come here because they, uh, they believe in the guy, the captain who runs this ship. They believe in his ingenuity and his experience. He's done over 10,000 hours worth of dives in this submersible and the, his first submersible, so. I think it's only around seven. I gotta add it all up, pile a lot. 7,000 uh, uh, 7, hours. It may also be though the uh, the most of anybody ever. Wow. I, I've been putting out feelers, this happened because mm -hmm. being the only other non-certified submersible, you know, I feel like I'm, somebody's gonna ask me to defend my record and right. I might actually have the world record for hours. Wow. Yeah. You gotta get that um, that Ripley's. Yeah. <laughs> if, if it's not the most ever, it's in the top five, and it's the most of anybody that's still currently diving. Nice, nice. Yeah. I am speechless, man. I am so speechless about going on this ship right here. Um, yeah, I can fit in. I'll be I'll be fitting through this hole right through here, and um, yeah, we'll be just enjoying the views for a couple of hours, seeing some beautiful wildlife, and um, sharing the experience. But I want you to do me a favor, guys. If you never liked the video, like this video. And if you never shared the video, share this video. Share this video with everybody, man. Uh, I'm from the streets of Miami, from the hood of Miami. And um, just let people know, man, people from the hood do awesome and adventurous things too. I know somebody gonna come in the chat and say, ah, oh, nah, 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 fam. Well, a lot of people in the hood stay on the porch, man. They don't get to see the real world, a uh, beautiful world that's out there. They put boxes and um, barriers in their life they don't even know. It's a whole world out here. So uh, I'm gonna show as much as possible. So make sure you hit that like button, share this video, share this to your, your, your friends, your, your kids, uh, your WhatsApp groups, the positive WhatsApp groups, you know what I'm saying? Share to everybody, all right? The hood, with the hood's going into the sub, man. All right? The hood is going in, and I can't wait to see what we can find. And uh, one more thing, uh, my bad, mommy. Sorry, mommy. <laughs> I didn't tell you because I know you're gonna tell me something. Blood pressure. I know, mommy. <laughs> but if you see in this video, I somehow made it out. All right, yo. This little bottle right here is the oxygen that we're gonna be breathing off of. Okay. And it's actually a very, very deficient system because. When we breathe in 21% oxygen, we're only using maybe four or 5% of that oxygen each breath. So it really only works out to about one cubic foot of oxygen per person an hour. That's all we have to put back in. 
one okay one cubic foot like if you had a cardboard box of pure oxygen that's actually all you use in in one hour for someone that don't understand <laughs> math and all that, that that's enough oxygen to keep the two of us going in there for about a day okay yeah okay all right cool all right uh yeah i'm just here i just uh trying to get as much um views of the submarine as possible some of you guys think this is like a scuba thing. No, this is not a scuba thing. This thing is gonna go real deep, guys. And we're gonna go deeper than scuba divers, all right? So check it out. Did you bring this guy with you one time? Who? Him. He, has uh, he? He hasn't been yet. I've only had him uh, once. Okay. But uh, I've had a bunch of dogs down. And they didn't have no issues. Um, they don't, the, the big one didn't like going down through the hatch. Okay. Uh, and if you're only staying, uh, in the top 300 feet, it's kind of warm. We were doing a photo shoot, like I wanted a picture of my dog looking through the window. Oh, okay. So there had to, you know, we had to stay in scuba diving depths. Okay. And to make it comfortable for her, we had to have uh, bags of ice in there. Oh, okay. Because it was hot. Warm. Yeah. Oh, okay. But if you go, if you go deeper, then, uh, then the dogs have liked it. Okay, okay. Yeah. And we got a sunny day today. I think yeah, it's the it, sunniest. It'll be, it'll be warm on the surface. Okay. Well, once we get down there, I call that the free air conditioning. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so I have to weigh myself. Yep, along with whatever you're bringing with you. Okay. So we are getting a briefing right now. So you have the two windows. Your big window is uh, four inches thick. Right. And it distorts a little bit. It, it's not really distorting because like all the photos you've seen, they're taken through there. And yeah. It does quite well like that. But uh, it messes with your perception of distance, distance and size. And you can't say a real fixed ratio because it depends how far away the thing is. After a while, your brain starts to adjust. But in general, uh, it makes things look much smaller and closer. However, by your feet, uh, you have a flat window and that gives you a much better sense of true size and distance. Also, we will inevitably see some cans or bottles, and that's actually a great opportunity to get your sense of scale. Something that is, uh, makes it also harder for you to get your sense of scale and distance down there is when we get below 300 feet, the water gets super clear. As clean as we think the water is up here, it's actually the dirty layer because the wind and the waves keep everything suspended and when you get below the thermocline, which is about 300, which is also the free air conditioning zone, uh, you you can see twice as far, sometimes three, 400 feet away with natural light. Uh, you have your own fan. You It has three different speeds. Right now it's on high. You'll probably want to turn it down at some point, but don't turn it all the way off because we have to circulate the air for the... Uh, uh, actually, with just the two of us in there, if you wanted to turn it off for here and there for the sound quality reasons, you could get away with that. Uh, you have your own depth gauge. It reads in feet. It sticks for the first hundred feet sometimes, but after that, it's totally accurate. Uh, and we can speak freely, but I have louder fans going by me, and you don't have to yell, but you, uh, quite the raised voice. And we're diving. There's two walls here and two ecosystems that we're gonna be going through. There's the top 300 feet where uh, there's still photosynthesis. And that basically is the same, almost all the life that you could see there, say at 250 feet, you could also see snorkeling. It's the same environment, essentially. But when we get below 300 foot, now we've left photosynthesis behind. There's no more plants or even the reef building corals that work together with algae that make up the, the shallow water reef. And so more than 90% of the animals that you see at say 400 feet, you couldn't have seen shallower. And that's the so-called uh, mesophotic zone or twilight zone where there's light, but not enough for photosynthesis. And it doesn't get totally black, pitch black until around 17, 1800 feet. And so because we're doing a two hour dive, we're not gonna be getting that deep, but we're gonna be, so there's two walls too. There's the wall that scuba divers go along and that is from about 50 to 150 feet. And then there's a little sloping area and then the big wall goes from about 250 to 700. 
After 700, the wall starts sloping out, and especially around 1,000 feet, there are a lot of boulders that are limestone that used to be up on the wall and broke out and fell down there. Wow. Some, some of them are 100 feet high. Wow. We're going to see big boulders down there. Uh, so we're going to be, and some of the best places for life is the tops and protected areas of these boulders because sediment is a primary enemy to animals trying to make a go of things down there because of, you know it's like constantly moving they don't have anything solid to, and they're getting smothered so we'll be checking out these boulders and also uh, overhangs are great places for for life to flourish down there awesome i'm ready all right um, oh the other thing to note is that uh during past ice ages the sea level was more than 400 feet lower than it is now. So that second wall, it's all has a veneer of limestone that is a drowned ancient shallow water reef. So the rock structures, uh, they're not like anything that you've ever seen before on dry land. And that's how they were formed. Shallow water coral that then drowned and has been dissolved. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, we're going to see some amazing thing, guys. Ready. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, guys. Let's do it. I'm excited. <laughs> and nervous. <laughs> ah, I don't talk too much. When I'm <laughs> uh, I just, you know, I don't want to miss out on anything you're saying. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Had this older couple there. I mean, the Titan thing was still at the top of the news, and they were just visibly shaken. Oh, really? You you had a? I, I did four trips already since then. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Um, it's easier if I hand you the okay. backpack once you. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. And we will record with. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going in. Sure. Here you go. Okay. All right, I got it. Oh. Oh, man. this and uh let's go guys so you got that first flange for your feet okay uh, this one right here this one right here and then that uh brown one right there and, yeah the wood one okay and then you want to sit back on that flange the first one you stepped on and you got to put your hands down to the side okay and Okay, so we got to take the piece of that board. Yep, and we go one more layer down. All right. And we'll sit on the board. Okay. And then you got that bar there for you to grab. You're yeah. going to have to go feet first. Feet first. Feet first. All right. Wow. <laughs> this is uh, this is amazing, that's, guys. That's the hard part right there. Once yeah. you're in there, you're good. Okay. Might want to... Okay. Wow, well, I didn't realize it had that much space here. Yeah, that window makes it look smaller than the other one. <laughs> Here's the camera. <laughs> okay. Okay. We in here. My heart is pounding. Oh, okay. Oh. 
Okay. I guess he's doing something, guys. I don't know what he's doing. It's kind of um, humid in here. You can see some fish underneath here. That's the air tank right there. Okay. That's a sign of, uh, it says the sphere you are in is it exactly the size of the William B.B. Otis uh, live trade sphere which pushed the limits of human submarines from 500 feet to 3,000 feet. All right, wow. Wow, guys. Okay, now I understand what you mean by perception. Okay. Let's do it, guys. The 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 ship feels very sturdy, if I, I if I can say anything. Um, very sturdy. It is. I am nervous, so I'm sweating. I might be taking my shirt off off of this one. <laughs> oh man. He's lowering it down through here. So that's what's going on out there. Y'all watching, and uh, I know y'all nervous, guys, but y'all still ain't giving me no like, man. Yeah, uh, this one deserves as much people as watching a like, yo, and share, bro. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir. Yep. Uh, you being here gets me a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> feel, a, feel a little bit better now. <laughs> okay. Did we get the? Did I leave the one with the suction on it, or it's down here? It's right next to it. Oh. All right. Uh, trying to see where I should put it. I would recommend that plan. Maybe for you. If you can put it, it that doesn't uh, that hasn't worked this good. I would oh. recommend putting it right on. Well, you might not even need it, but it's uh, lighting is an issue on uh, my area. Wow. So oh wow, this is amazing, yo. We ain't seen nothing yet. We ain't seen nothing yet. Oh. What? It's crazy. My camera already overheated that thing. No, I didn't. All right. Well, I got the 360 rocking with your boy. All right. All right, guys, we are going underneath. And um, we are rolling. You know, um, okay, you over there. How do you yeah. control, uh, got little levers, knobs, PlayStation controller? Really? No. <laughs> okay, so, uh, can you, uh, grab this? Oh, no, you're, you're moving stuff around, so I'm these, trying to see. These are the little controls right okay, here. Okay, these are the controllers. So that's, that's for two of the motors, and then we got two other motors, that's these ones. Everything's redundant with the motor. Okay. We can loot. We have totally separate battery system, separate switching, separate, and everything's fused and a master control. So we're coming up on the, uh, the my first submarine. We're gonna pass over it right now. Okay. Look out, look out your window. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's the one I started making in my parents' backyard in New Jersey when I was fifteen. So why is it there now? Well, once I had this one, that one was about to. Okay, so you ain't need it no more. I think it on purpose. 
Oh, you saying it on purpose? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. You know how we're tilting to that one side? Yeah. That's good for you. Oh, I gotta get in the middle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Say no more. I'm in the middle now. I know. <laughs> I, I feel like I need to go to sleep, man, and just wait. You wake me up when we're done. I already feel it. <laughs> I re both guys. I feel it, guys. Okay, so it is getting hot, guys, and uh, the cameras are overheating already. So if you see the cam camera, it just turns off because it's hot. It is, um, it is hot in here. I think that this is recording. I'm not too sure, but uh, looking at the infrastructure of this thing, it is interesting all right and then you can see outside right here look super uh, different the thing is what we're, what we're doing is we're trying to get a, I get as far as possible so we can get into deep water and then from there this place will feel a lot comfortable as of right now uh, it is hot the temperature so uh, I can see what people go through in terms of like say yo all right You see all these coral corals on the thing. Wow, this is amazing, yo. Okay, we coming against the first wall? Yeah. What does that mean? You see the bottom is dropping off. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, man. Just like the movies, guys. <laughs> but I am super nervous. Um, the temperature is dropping for sure as this window gets covered. Um, we, we finally got over the first wall. So now he can drop a little bit more. And we, we might start seeing some interesting things. My heart is pounding. I need water. Plus the, the ship is shaking back and forth because of the waves. It's not a smooth ride at the moment. This alone, 
<laughs> this experience alone right here is like okay <laughs> would scare enough people to be like i'm done uh, I don't know if I should have had a breakfast this morning. <sighs> this video is postponed till yesterday. And um, I postponed it yesterday because I had to finish the video, but somewhere in me, I was afraid of doing this. I think he's he just closed the, you, you closing it? Yep. We All right. Over the second wall. Right. Notice we bolt ourselves in. We don't get bolted in from the outside. Right. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> so when we first go down, it's going to wobble a little. Right. Uh, that's normal. As soon as we get under, everything is very steady. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling, the wobbling. Oh, well, that's the waves. It's actually pretty choppy up. That, that's about as choppy as it can be, and I can keep the hatch open this far out. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You remember your first time going down? Huh? Okay. So far guys, we're going down, but I don't see Jack. <laughs> Fifteen or twenty. So, you think I turn the camera off, or no? You never know when something's going to swim by. Okay. Also, you can keep. Uh, we'll probably keep seeing the surface until three or four hundred feet. Okay. Barracuda. Oh, okay. So to give you an idea of the distortion of the window, that barracuda is three or four feet long. Yeah. Yeah, those fish are all like a, a foot long. Nice. Yeah. I think they're attracted to the shininess of the window. Oh, 
from the reflection. Perfect, 200 feet above us. Wow. So we 200 feet, guys, right now. Facing the wall now, it's about 100 feet out there. Okay, I see something black. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, I see the wall. Yeah, we haven't gone through the summer time yet. The water's still going to get a lot more clear. Oh, the water's going to get clearer yeah. as we go down. But I see a wall. It's about 100 feet, it's going to get even clearer. So in uh, 100 feet, this place is gonna get clear, guys. But you can see there's a wall right in front of me. Interestingly enough. Oh my God. My nerves are still bothering me, guys. <laughs> That's the, where we just came from. And um, we are going down. I am sweating. Everything, all the sweat in me is gone. I'm losing weight. Just nervous. The sweat is just falling down my back at this moment. Now we're only maybe 20 or 30 feet away. 20, 30 feet away before the water gets even super clear. But I can see that mm -hmm. wall right there. You can still see the sun on the surface. Well, uh, yeah, I can still see the sun hitting the surface. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you see the, the light? The, the lights are coming from the, the ship itself. Oh. So this, is, this used to be reef, but they, they dissolved? Yeah. Okay. So he said that sand is coming down the wall, carved the, carved the groove into um, into this rock right here. It is getting a little colder. That'll help with my nerves. What's the longest you ever been on the submissible? Uh, Twenty-four hours. For 24 hours? Yeah, I was by myself and I found a spot and I, I slept 2,500 feet. You slept in, in 200, 250 uh, 2,500 feet actually. 2,500 feet? I what? did that when James Cameron was doing his record breaking dive. Yeah. And I was most likely the second deepest person in the world's ocean when he set that record. Oh, you did it during the same time James Cameron did his record break, uh, breaking dive. So you were most likely the second deepest person after him during that day time. Okay, wow. I might be the the deepest ZB in the in the building. <laughs> the the deepest the deepest ZB in the building, baby. <laughs> so we, we got about 300 foot of visibility right now. All right, guys. Even losing the blue out of the water. You know, the deeper you go, the different colors get absorbed. Red is the first color to go. Blue is the last. But now we're even losing the blue light. Wow. You brought your own laser? Oh, you saw it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it doesn't um, scare people. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> The first time somebody brought the right color too. The red ones don't go, but the red, the green does good. The green does good. Okay, I just say you know, let me bring it just in case I can point at stuff. You know, I hear people uh, sometimes they'll they'll take a relaxing coming on this thing, and I can see why, cause my heart's still pounding like a like I'm running a hundred miles per hour. <laughs> All right, guys, we're moving from the wall into. Seamlessly, the abyss. <laughs> you probably can't even see your boy. There you go. Uh, 
I might also make sure that just in case. So far guys, we are like at 800 feet. Typically, how deep do scuba divers go? Uh, the maximum for regular divers is supposed to be 130 feet. Okay, for regular divers, so like we're scuba divers. Scuba. Like all these dive shops, the deepest they're legally able to take you without extra special training on mixed gases or something is 130 feet. And we're right here, we're at, uh, um, it looks like 40 feet. 840 feet. So we really passed. So they, just in case you didn't hear him, he basically said that scuba divers normally uh, are certified to go around a hundred and so feet into the water, unless they got special training. And um, we're well over that amount. So this is not like a regular scuba dive. Once you pass 300 feet, as mentioned earlier, no more photo censuses, guys. We are literally like a drop of water, guys, in the ocean right now. Anything could happen. Yo, guys, look. All right, first uh, thing I've seen. That's the uh, Pirate Zone. Huh. The last time I saw one of those seven feet long, that one was only made of Pirate Zone. Got another one, guys. Okay, let's turn the light off. You can see it. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> oh, you mean the kind of dark? Oh, now I see something. Yeah. It's dark, but I can see it. Yeah. Oh wow! These some of these uh, animals are like green. They light up. Yeah. You can't see it in the camera, guys. There you go, guys. You can see some um, inside, but at night, if without the light, it's literally this a bunch of things is sparkling up in the color green, without flashing, and then it's really it's really interesting. But what is that thing growing off of the rock? Those are all sponges, glass sponges. They take silica out of the water and make uh, hard surfaces. They're one of the oldest forms of life. Have glass sponges in the fossil record going back 400 million years. So he said they're like glass sponges, and they're the, one of the oldest things in life. They go back 100 million years. That's a dead one there, but it's still maintaining its structure. You can see this boulder is just stacked up on top of other boulders. Right. So that's a dead one right there, guys. Okay. Let me point at it. Right there. That one right there. Um. And these are boulders that came from the, the top. And it's been chilling here. I mean, wow. Wow. You can also see it's just keep on dropping. I'm going to do a little 360 here. You get a feel for our surroundings. Yeah, I see. Boulders, the size of buildings, and a 45 degree slope. Huge boulders, man. So, where are we exactly? <laughs> okay, we're like, uh, guys, we're at a thousand. The channel will be a little bit more. I've so many guys here that I recognize them. Okay, so that's where we're at right now, guys. Man, this is crazy, man. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a shot. Oh, get a shot of me. <laughs> uh. Yo. You know, I always do this tradition whenever I'm somewhere far. I like to say the names of my uh, my loved ones. So shout out to my mother, Fufun, my older sister, Tracy, uh, my baby sister, Maya, and um, 
my nephews, King, Drew, Chance, and then everybody else in Miami, or my Zoes, or my 305, Dave Connors, uh, and yeah, man, we here. The hood, the hood is in, in the water, man. All my Florida people, what's up? And uh, most definitely, my channel, shout out to my channel. Um, I hope you enjoying this because uh, without you, I couldn't have been able to even get this far or get this deep, you know what I'm saying? And I just want to share with you what we got going on. Let's go. So that's the line of an ancient coral. Wow. And I can see some crabs over here, man. Mm -hmm. They're over here. Like when you get, uh, like how, how far are we were, like we're five feet away from the rock, actually? Mm -hmm. Probably like three. three feet away, wow. And yeah, yeah I can see. Oh, wow, starfish over the thing right here, guys. Wow. There's a shrimp. Wow, yeah. Shrimp right there too. Amazing. There's some, there's some stuff, dead stuff downstairs I can see. Like a, it's like a cone, a huge one. Down there. Some more life down there too, yeah. That's the fish that make light on them in there. But once, once they get exposed to your light, they don't do it anymore. So, the, okay, these fishes actually... There's lantern fishing, they can make a bright blue light. Yeah, they make some light, but once you got light uh, in front of them, they don't do that much light. And then you can actually see, like, right here, guys, there's a um, starfish, a small starfish. Wow. Uh, the lantern fish by weight might be actually the most common fish. They're one of the most common fish in the ocean. Oh, the lantern fish, the ones that right here in that crevice yeah. right there, are one of the most common fish. I've seen pools of hundreds of thousands. Yeah, that's the lantern fish. Yeah, that's the What is that noise like it's drinking or something? It's, uh, adding air to the valve. Okay, you're adding air, air to the valve. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> wow, you can see some huge um, cones underneath right here. Wow. Yeah, well that, that window gives you the better sense of scale. Wow, they're huge. Yeah. So this is a part of the wall right here? Yeah, this wall is sloping. And this is, uh, for there to be this many dead conch in one area, it's uh, very sad. They were... Uh, the poachers get them and then they clean them in their boat and they throw the shells so that it's uh, easier to hide the meat. Oh, so these are all like dead conch shells. Uh, poachers get them and and they they drop them right here. So all these shells are from dead conch. I know there was supposed to be a season that they are allowed to do it. Yeah, I don't think it's around here. Okay. Things that are more away from people and have more safe open areas, especially off the leaves. But uh, actually, King Kong is supposed to be the, uh, one of two protected shelves uh, mollusks in the country. iPhone don't work in the in. <laughs> if you're wondering, it doesn't work this deep, guys. No connection. <laughs> My watch. I wish I knew how to work the watch. All the uh, bright white spots, that's, those are sponges too. So all the bright white spots, guys, you see here, those are actual sponges. See them? Wow. You know, this, um, this area is known for a lot of pirates. Uh -huh. Have you ever ca uh, captured anything? No. 
of I mean from Oh yeah yeah yeah. That's the type of deep water coral about three feet across. Wow, look at how deep guys. And these are feather stars, they're relatives of starfish and they can swim. Wow. Actually the uh the creatures that came out of the trees in the first Avatar movie, James Cameron just ripped those off from both things are exactly those. Oh, from the uh, Avatar movie. Yeah, it's like little nods in his movie for people that understand the deep sea. Like, he's not that creative. He's, he's just getting ideas from the ocean. Wow. But I haven't seen the Avatar too, so maybe I need to check it out. I think I just saw the first the only reason this area is flat in front of us is because it's the top of that boulder. And it's flat right on top of this boulder. Got it. The only re okay, gotcha. That's a huge boulder, man. It's 90 feet high. 90 feet high boulder, guys. Think we'll be able to see some more fish on this tour? Or? Yeah, we'll probably see some blackjack and uh. Okay. There's not a ton of free swimming fish around here. Sadly, uh, the statistics are something like 90% of the big fish in the ocean have been killed already. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like 50 or 100 years ago, we probably would have seen a lot more fish. But there's a lot of different animals that live on the wall, too. Okay, I see fish. It's the not a small one, so but I guess... That's a squirrel fish. That's actually one of the very few fish that down here deep that you could also see up on the reef. So this is a coral with uh, starfish on it. They have some kind of symbiotic relationship. Where is it? Help each other out. I'm trying to understand. I see it. You got the laser? <coughs> oh! So yeah, that's a starfish underneath? Oh yeah! A whole bunch of starfish. Wow! So guys, that's a starfish right there and something is growing on top of it. So a whole bunch of starfish is apparently but they're underneath the brush. Here's a uh, anemone. What's it called? Uh, an, an anemone. Uh, a anemone right here guys. Check it out. <laughs> I'm really becoming a, a, a marine biologist, man. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Wow. Wow. You can see it better. Most definitely the bottom um, mirror. You got a really good look. This is another type of sea urchin. Wow. And that's another type, too. See the sea urchin right here, guys. So we're passing a flounder, guys. They just laid out on the floor, and then uh, another anemone. And hey, we're like a thousand feet, but there's people who are going uh, 14, 15 times this deep. Not that often though. Not that often. There's, there's a very high likelihood that we're the deepest non-military people in the ocean right now. He said there's a high likelihood that we are the deepest non-military um, people in the ocean right now. Wow. You're only talking about a hundred deep submersibles globally and most of them do far fewer dives each year than, than I do. Wow. I know this is a weird question to ask, uh, <laughs> but uh, what is the likelihood of this ship imploding at this? Uh, at this depth, it's not really. It's not, it's not likely, right? No, not at all. It's almost impossible. 
<laughs> Almost impossible. Nice. The submarine has been tested more than three, three times deeper than how deep we are right now. Okay. The sphere that you're sitting in has a calculated crush depth of over 8,000 feet. Oh, so the sphere I'm actually sitting in, it has a, a calculated uh, crush depth of over 8,000 uh, feet. So we're nowhere near that number. And you don't go that deep anyways. Of course not. Also, that sphere is made out of a special high-strength steel that they were making the U.S. Navy submarines out of. In fact, you can't even get it anymore uh, because the Navy now is using different steels for their submarine hulls. But that was, uh, that's why I reused that from another submarine. But you can't even get that type of special steel. This type of metal. Yeah, it's a very special type of steel. So he basically said, uh, this particular steel, you can't even get anymore. It, it was uh, used in another submarine, and he was able to get his hands on it, but it's not some type of steel that they give people or is available. So he has it. <laughs> and, you know, if you probably, because of your infatuation, you were able to grab it early. <laughs> I knew the right person. You knew the right person to get it from. Yeah. What did they tell you when you got you asked for it? We had a complicated deal. It was some money down, some money later, and they got to dive in the submarine when it was done. Oh, okay, so yeah. somebody uh, then, some money later, and get to you um, dive with you. No. So they were happy. They were very happy. Oh, nice. He even uh, he took his daughter down too, and I think that was uh, worth it. Yeah. How did his daughter react to just coming down? Or she was all right because she was with her father. Great trip. Awesome. Yeah, he, he was making a submarine of his own, but he uh, passed away before he got to finish it. So I know. Actually, that might have been his uh, one deep submarine trip that he did with his daughter. Oh, okay. So you were able to, because uh, he was building one, but he passed away where, before he could finish it. Yeah. So that might have you this that trip that you were able to give him was might have been the only one he could have uh did with his daughter yeah what is this condensing it's a that's because of the uh the difference in the temperature okay condensation here on the walls guys just give you an idea of what's happening here and then i uh, can't see what this guy's doing <laughs> he's been standing all this time <laughs> he's up the wall pretty good oh oh yeah 400 feet up. Nice. Nice. So you say you offer night tours as yeah, well? Oh, anytime, day or night. My, my attitude is you're, you're chartering one of the most exclusive personal transportation devices known to humans. Well, I can go whatever you want. So basically, you guys, uh, if you want to um, charter a submarine here, you can go anytime uh, you want once you charter with him. Um, and it, the night, the night time. What is, what is your experience at night? Well, sometimes you see a lot of squid in the water, and if you want to go and put bait and see the six gill shark, uh, you got to do that at night. When well, you want to see like the six gill sharks, you have to go at night, guys. Um, and he said you'll see a lot of squid at night as well. Oh, um, we're going up the seawall, guys. As you can see, the pressure is going up. And my, as we go up, my anxiety is going down. <laughs> my anxiety is going down as we go up. Oh man. They got a little slit right there. They can expel waste and breathe through that without having to uh, expose themselves more to predators. It's actually by collecting those shells with the first summary a large part of the financing for this one came from. They used to sell for about two thousand dollars a piece. Oh, oh really? This just the shell? Yep. And, but they're not they're not rare or endangered. They're expensive because the only way to get them is to get it with a submarine because they, they live too deep and they don't you can't bait them with anything in a trap. So this this shell, how much is it now? You said it was 2000 so Now they're around a thousand. There's another sub in Curacao and they kind of flooded the market. Oh, they flooded the market. Yeah. But so the deeper ones that are in the same family, that they're still uh, holding their value. So it's shells... Very, very 
You can't sell a lot of them because you'll flood the market too. Like, there's, there's not they need to treat it like the diamond market, basically. So guys, this shell is worth around a thousand, but it used to be worth two thousand, and people paid top dollar for it. What did they use the shell for again? Just to collect it to say they have it. Just to collect. Yeah, there's a there was a book in the '60s of the 50 most desirable rare seashells, and they had a picture of that one on the cover of the book. Oh wow. Like, it was kind of a big deal. Uh, this ride I'm taking right now. What it what? What is the ship doing to my body right now? The nothing. the submarine is not doing nothing to my body. There's no more pressure change in an airplane than you do in this submarine. So there's more pressure change in an airplane than they do in the, uh, this submarine. Okay. This is uh, another type of deep water coral we haven't seen yet. Very delicate. Oh, okay. Deep water coral right here, guys. So this is actually a, a living thing, it's not a plant, guys. Um, they say this thing can live thousands of years, it can regenerate, and uh, a lot of scientists actually are studying this, uh, wow, it's moving a little bit. Uh, what's the name of it again? Lily. It's a sea lily. Wow, we're right on the coral. A sea lily. And it can walk. Wow. And they've been around almost 10 times longer than the dinosaurs. And this thing has been around 10 times longer than a dinosaur. So this thing is older than anybody watching this video. Yeah. <laughs> hundreds of years old and hundreds of millions of years in the fossil. Wow. See if we can catch it right here. This, this right, there you go. Mary gets a better look. It's huge. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's a crazy spot, huh? Yeah. see some more fish life as we go up so we're entering photosynthesis I guess not yet not yet could be if it was flatter but we don't get into photosynthesis until we get to the over the edge see the edge above us okay right up there there's photosynthesis okay I see it I get to see some fish I having know, like, colorful things that are funny Wow, this is beautiful. Stop. Now we're back to photosynthesis. Those little green, those are a type of algae. Right. And the big orange thing right in front, that's an elephant ear sponge. Elephant ear sponge, got it. This canyon continues right into the bay. Like this is all cut from sand coming out of the bay in bad weather and it continues to probably 10,000 feet. Wow. That's a fishing line hung up on the rock and it's actually a stable environment. Look how big the sponges get growing on it. Wow. Yeah. It's fishing wire, wow. Oh. Wow. Amazing. Wow, that's beautiful. A 
tobacco. Wow. What type of fish you say? Macro. Oh, they got some fishes, but leafers too. I can see them better now. It's like they come out once they they're underneath the fish. Uh, the the. Well, there. I mean, there's more fish that shallow in this area for sure. But even this is like a mere shadow of what it was 50 years ago. Right. Or a hundred before people were killing all you know whales and turtles in abundance. Right. Oh, wow, guys. <laughs> oh, my, my internet just kicked in. <laughs> oh, man. It's going down, baby! It's going down! We're here! Oh, oh it's rocking because I'm not in the middle. Hold on. Did it, guys. <laughs> oh man, we did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> oh, saw the water come out. It's a condenser. You know what I'm saying? I said, like, oh, 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 looks like a little water could drop there. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow, guys. Man, this scene already is amazing, guys. <laughs> this is my favorite part right here. <laughs> All right, guys, we finally made it back. Wow, what an adventure it has been, man. I feel like I grew a little bit, actually. I feel like I grew a little bit. I, I challenged myself to do something and I most definitely did check out this stuff. This guy has all these fishes underneath his air, <laughs> uh, uh, underneath his dock right here. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to get out though. I need to stand up. All right, guys, he's got a knot. Oh. <laughs> we can see it, guys. Oh my gosh, we can see it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, the time went by fast, guys. The time went by fast. Give me some time to get my thoughts on this whole adventure. And uh, yeah, man, thank you for watching, man. Most definitely want to see more videos like this or this out of the box. Please subscribe, please. And share this video with everybody. <laughs> And if you're trying to take a ride with this expert, this cowboy right here, uh, information's in the description. It is worth it. Most professional dude. Um, I've never been on a ride on a submarine, but this guy knows how to drive around this area. Well, let's get out of here. You did great, man. Thank you for something I will never forget. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can, I can take one right now. <laughs> All right, guys, let me get my thoughts and, and I'll tell you everything. Wrap it up. 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't get my thoughts on this one. First off, man, I want to say thank you, man, for the uh, the opportunity um, to go on this. It was amazing. You're a great pilot. Uh, is that what they call it, or a captain? Yeah, sub, -pilot. <laughs> sub pilot. And um, you were very knowledgeable about what you were showing me um, during the video. You might not have heard a lot from him because he was up there, but he was telling me everything about the reef, uh, about the wildlife we were seeing there. And so, if you do come with him, you're going to have a great time, and he'll be able to explain a lot to you. Um, as far as what other um, type of trips you can take? Um, well, it's, it's uh, by the hour. The majority of my customers, they come and they do a three or four hour dive. Right. Uh, it takes a minimum of three hours to get down to 2,000 foot, which is getting you just into the, into the total darkness, which is the largest ecosystem on our planet. Uh, but a four hour dive, we get, and we, we see a lot more four hour dive awesome yeah. okay and we, we could if you looked at my other books sometimes you're going to see some sharks you can actually bring bait as well um i i do another dive where this one has to be at night and we drop bait on a spot that i have marked by gps ahead of time and the sharks are more than 90 percent of the time down there already uh because of the bait and uh the ones we see the most are six skills which are almost definitely the most abundant large wild animal left on our planet. Nice. And we have, I've seen up to five at a time here. Nice. Yeah. All right, guys. So if people want to get in contact with you, they would go to your website right here. I'll put it in the yeah. link in the, uh, in the description as well right here, guys. And i also it's, put your it's email. It's loading very slow right now. The website has been kind of overwhelmed. Right. But uh, my direct email, the uh, Gmail, that's the best one. Okay, guys. So check them out. And yeah, thanks again. Thank you. All right. Another adventure in the books, guys. If you love this video, you enjoyed the ride. The, just the opportunity to see something amazing most definitely hit that like button and watch some other stuff if you're new to my channel and yeah man um if you want to go on another adventure subscribe man we are we are continuing this ride i do want to come back to see total darkness for sure um but <laughs> my heart is slowly it's it's doing better now you know that we all land but i had a great time felt really safe at a at one point, I didn't even remember where I was at. I didn't even know I was in, uh, that deep. But it was a great time. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. More on the way. You want to see more videos from me? Links in the description of other videos I have going on. And yeah, and i see you in the next video. But before you leave, make sure you hit the like button. And always stay live, all right? Peace. All right, yo. Thank you so much yo, for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first video, try to watch all the other episodes and catch up so you don't miss what's happening next. I guarantee you, it's going to be crazy. Yo.